Hi, today we're going to learn how do you edit files using Adobe Acrobat Pro. So to edit a PDF file, uh, the first thing that you will need is an Acrobat Professional Edition. Uh, the regular PDF reader would not work. So you've got to buy the Professional Edition. All right, so let's go ahead and edit a PDF. So let me just find a PDF which I can use for editing. And if you have Adobe Acrobat Reader installed on your system as well, uh, just make sure that when you open the file, instead of clicking on Open with Adobe Reader 11 or 12 and so on, you've got to click Edit with Adobe Acrobat. So this is the first thing that you'll have to do. And let's say this is this is the file that I have to edit. Uh, first things first, I'll go walk you through the menu. So if you look at the top, you will see that uh, there's a file menu. This lets you open a file. You can open a file on your computer or a file which is stored on acrobat.com. So if you click on acrobat.com, you'll have to sign in with your Adobe ID, retrieve the file, and it'll open in Acrobat. Second thing that you can do is uh, you can save a file, obviously, and you can save into multiple formats. For example, if you want to convert this PDF into a Word file or a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation or an HTML file. Uh, really easy to do it with the Acrobat Professional. You can also save it to acrobat.com. Uh, so if you have uh, you know, something that you want to share with other people or you want to store it on the cloud, you can use the acrobat.com. Uh, you can send a file via a mail messenger or Outlook. And then you can also uh, take a look at the properties of the file. The second important menu would be the edit menu. So when you open the file and if you don't click on edit, uh, you may have to sometimes click on edit the file uh, using this edit text and images. So this will enable the file for editing. You can go ahead and edit the text and images in the file. All right, so uh, moving on, let's see what this is. So if you want to zoom in or zoom out, you can actually see uh, the actual file size or the default size is automatically open depending on the frame size. You can see the pages, you can scroll down the pages from here and up. And this can be customized. So you can actually put in your uh, customization on this file. Um, moving on to the right hand side, uh, this is how you may uh, see Acrobat for the first time. So you may have to click on this tools option. The tools option lets you do multiple things. So if you're uh, trying to edit an image or a file, you will see this menu open up and this will let you add text, edit uh, images, add, you know, edit text. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do this. So let's say we've already clicked on this option. And you've got to differentiate what is an image and what is a text. So if you see here, and I click on this, this is not editable. Uh, the reason is that uh, this is an image. Although I can resize the image, I can place it somewhere else. But the text within this image is not ed editable because this is part of the image. Now, if I, if I go down, you will see that uh, this text is editable because this is a text in the file. I can go ahead and change the text. So let's say living room area and one more thing that you will have to take care about is that the the format of uh, the text and the font of the text should be in your system it's if it's not in your system acrobat will take the nearest matching text format or the font to uh, make it work so just take care you will see the font uh, used in the file that you're editing here and if you don't have that, you can go ahead and download it. There are a lot of free fonts available. If you're editing, editing some bank documents or uh, some files which have a particular format, you may have to do uh, that pretty often then. So you can go ahead and edit a text. This is also editable. So any changes that you want to make, you can make. Uh, one of my recommendations is that if you want to edit these files, use Acrobat 11 on high or higher because 10 was not really user friendly, so I'll recommend to use Acrobat 11 or higher version for editing these files. 
Uh, if I want to add a text frame, for example, I'll click on this option, add a text, and say, and I can go ahead and change the position of the text. I can add a font, I can add a color, I can make it bold, you know, do things which are normally possible in a text editor. Uh, apart from this, you can also add images in the file and then you can also export it to some document, but I would recommend to do it from the file menu. Uh, the other thing that you can do is you can add a hyperlink or a link from your computer. You can also attach a file within this PDF document, so that's something which is possible. Uh, one of the other things that you will have to do uh, very often is sometimes there is a PDF and you will remove some pages out of it. So you can actually delete a page like this. Or if, you, if you're, let's say, editing a file and you just need one page out of the whole PDF, you can extract that page. And if you do that, it will extract as a separate PDF document. So this is page number two of the file. And only this page has been extracted. So one of the really cool features that I use very often uh, is the extract feature. You can also replace a page with somewhere, some other pages. You can crop a page also. You can split the document into uh, multiple parts. If I click on split document, you can say that I want to split by these numbers and you can split by file size. You can also uh, split by any bookmarks that you have. You can also insert a page from any other PDF file also. So that's something that, which is pretty much possible. And you can also combine multiple PDF file to form a single PDF file. That's something that will be very useful if you are working with tons of PDF and you want to just combine them into one. The other thing that you can do is you can actually add interactive objects. Now, what is interactive object? Interactive object means, uh, you know, this like a area which is interactable. That means somebody has to click on it or type something or uh, roll over it for that action to come in place. So, you can add interactions like buttons, you can add a video within the file, you can add sound, 3D images, and a shockwave file, obviously. Uh, so these are really handy when you want to make an interactive PDF. Make sure that you save the PDF as an interactive PDF when you do this. Now, forms is also another really cool thing that you can do with a PDF creator, uh, especially with uh, you know Adobe Acrobat. You can either use uh, Form here or there's another add-on software which is called Form Central. You can use Form Central to create these PDF files. Um, Acrobat has great uh, form creating templates that you can use. So you can also take a look at that. And then there are action wizards. You can create a new action. Uh, you can also have text recognition in this file. And obviously, if you want to protect the file, you can restrict editing, you can encrypt it. Uh, that's something that you can do. Now, let's move on. Uh, PDF are often signed, and this is something that Acrobat is also used very commonly for. So you can actually sign this document, you can actually create your signatures, and uh, you can sign a document. So, for example, I've already created my signature, I can just drag and drop here. And if I want to place my initials, I can just type in my initials and the initials would be placed anywhere in the document. So when you talk about uh, signature, you can actually place signature anywhere you want. So for example, I want to place it here. This is my name. Place the signature here. Uh, when you sign a document, uh, it really encrypts the document with your signature. So this is something really cool that you can use to sign and pass off the document. And then there's a comment uh, Function. So this is really used when there is a team involved and let's say you want to uh, edit the PDF and send it to your team or your manager or somebody else to review it. So you'll, you can add this common feature in the PDF. The comments are tracked. You can see who's put what comment. And uh, you can also review the uh, the comment that was sent by the, by the person. So this is a really good review mechanism built within Acrobat. So I hope that this basic uh, introduction to Acrobat is useful for you. Uh, do let me know if you have any questions. Type it in the uh, YouTube uh, comment section and I should get back to you. Thank you.